Hi folks, welcome to another Wednesday Wisdom. I'm Anna Hendricks and I'm so glad you're here with me. Thank you very much. This week I want to talk about the ego. Now, a couple weeks ago I posted this photo. It's pretty awesome. It says your ego is not your amigo. I thought it was really pretty straight to the point and had a very powerful message, right? I think that we can all agree that for the majority of the time, our ego is definitely not our friend. And it's so funny because in the midst of trying to put together this message, I realized that my ego was really playing a bit of a fit about, you know, how I look. And just the aesthetics of this video being more important than the actual video and the actual words I'm saying. So there's a fantastic example for you just to get started. I personally think that ego is something that holds us back in life. It keeps us from living the life we want, keeps us from loving the people we want, keeps us from doing the things we want, keeps us from, from chasing dreams. And I don't know about you, but I plan on living the biggest, boldest, awesomest, greatest life that I possibly can live because I only have one chance. But I didn't always feel that way. And the thing is, is I think that my ego likes to creep up. It likes to start taking over my life, you know, when things are going really well, or when I'm feeling too cool, or when I'm, you know, trying to kind of cover up about something. I think that our ego can really kind of take place when maybe we're fearful. I think that our ego takes over when, when we start getting scared about the fact, you know, like, are we good enough? Are we good enough to have the blessing that we do, you know, that we have? Are we good enough to chase the things that we want in life? Are we good enough to have the things and people that we want in life? So what I want to encourage you with is really kind of taking an evaluation of your ego in your life. There are three things that I like to do that keep my ego in check, and I want to share them with you. So the first one is to give. Give, 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 give. Give, 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 give. You can never, ever, 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 ever give enough. Give to a nonprofit. Give your time to a friend. Give your crap away that's sitting around your house that you don't need it. Someone else can use. Give. As long as we are giving, we're creating action. And action is a uh, it's such a powerful thing in life. I don't think that we even understand it. And I would get too excited about it to explain. But giving is huge. Second thing, I think it's really important that we step outside of our comfort zone. So these Wednesday Wisdom videos are intense for me. I know that people have said, you know, I look confident. Um, no. <laughs> Putting these videos together can be really difficult for me sometimes. So, but the deal is I wanted to take these quote cards that I had you know, full of like wisdom that I had put out every Wednesday and I wanted to make them more personable. And so I have to step outside of my comfort zone at least, you know, once a week, which it happens many more, believe me. But the deal is it's good. It's good for me because it, it jolts me out of what's going on. Kind of makes me put on makeup too. <laughs> um, and finally, love. So this thing called love uh, that we talk about all the time, we chase, we want, we dream about, you know, we so need love. And, and the deal is, is that we need to give lots of love. I don't think that we can ever give enough love. We need to be loving the people in our lives, loving our family, loving the people who are rude to us, you know, and, and if loving them is saying, oh, may I bless you and stay far away from me. Uh, we really need to spend a lot of time loving people that we come across, people that are in our path, um, especially the, the people who are a little hard to love because they probably need it the most. But the deal is when we are loving and we're focusing on love, we're, we're staying outside of ourselves. We're staying outside of our mind. We're staying outside of all those thoughts that are saying, you know, oh, you're not good enough. Oh, compare me to this person. Oh, there's this. Or you're staying outside of the thoughts that are like, yes, I'm the best. Yes, I'm so hot. Yes, I'm doing great. Yes, I can do this all on my own. The deal is both of those mindsets are absolutely dangerous to your life. So I just, that's really all I have for you this week. I just want to encourage you to keep your, your ego in check and to remember that your ego is not your amigo. So 
Have a fantastic rest of the week, a great weekend, and please join me next Wednesday. Thank you so much.